Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for cancer. How are you guys this week? So this week I'm going to do something different. Focus on your next serious relationship, who they may be and what you need to know. So cancer, your next serious relationship, who they may be and what you need to know about your next serious relationship. This one wants to come out. Okay, King of Wands and Six of Cups. Ooh, someone's crushing. This is someone very sweet. They're probably going to do nice things for you, <laughs> give you little gifts. Beautiful. This is someone longing for love. Yeah, they want something here. Oh, yeah, a little Taurus energy possibly. Um, this is somebody here who, this is how they conduct themselves. Okay, this is somebody who definitely has an energy of having faith in something they want. If they want something, they go for it. But I feel they're crushing. They're likely going to just do something nice and start saying sweet things to you. Uh, this is somebody who will show you that they like you before they uh, tell you. Okay. So it's definitely someone who's thinking commitment here. I definitely see an energy of someone who, and an agreement here. But I feel this is just this, the way this person is. They're definitely looking for someone who has their similar lifestyle habits traditions the way they conduct themselves so they want to make sure that you're on the same page they're likely going to just show you they like you at first so seven of cups yeah trusting in themselves to see the truth wow this is someone taking action oh yeah this is definitely someone so now this person definitely is someone who um you know it's an energy of something worth fighting for this is definitely a person who uh, stands up for themselves uh, absolutely but they're also, like I say, they're, I feel someone who's just taking action. Um, they're definitely not worried if there's competition. <laughs> uh, they're definitely, uh, they could be a little dramatic, but I feel this is a person with the seven of cups who, you know, they're looking to see if there's competition, looking to see if you're connected to someone, if you're married, um, but it's a crush. Yeah, a little procrastination there, but they're looking at all the possibilities. See, they're um, infanticizing a little bit too. <laughs> they're definitely not afraid of taking action. It's a, I, I usually see this with this as someone who, when they see what they want, they go for it. So, yeah, so I see the Knight of Swords. See, it's about whether something's worth fighting for or not. So this is definitely a person who's looking for clarity. They're looking for clarity here to see if you're seeing anyone else. Okay, they're doing a lot of thinking uh, logically um, how this may play out. Okay, so they're kind of preparing themselves, in other words, but it looks like they want to start something. So definitely a person longing for love, just crushing. Yeah, this is, could be someone who's sentimental. They may give you something sentimental here to show you they like you. <laughs> oh yeah this is a person who definitely they're looking for a partner but they are someone who pulls their weight okay likely looking for the same someone on the same page has to do with having faith you see mm -hmm. so there we go yeah this is someone in your social circle probably looking to see how you conduct yourself when you're socializing there could they could be someone you know friend of a friend or friend of a family member um yeah, it could be online dating as well. But they are definitely someone who's looking for someone who pulls their weight. But they are that way. This is definitely someone uh, very passionate, very confident, also possibly very creative. They could be popular, okay? Uh, but they're looking at that. They're looking to see how you conduct yourself. Kind of just watching you. They're crushing, though, so they like what they see. Yeah, kind of secretly keeping things to themselves here. A little bit of a secret admirer, possibly. This is not someone who wait around for long, as there's fast moving energy here. This is just the energy. The only energy is the energy of this person trying to be kind of thinking neutral. Okay, they're just fantasizing, looking at how this will play out. They're crushing. So let's see with a hierophant. Yeah, they could have Pisces in their chart. Yeah, see, they're looking here. They want to reach out. You see, they're looking to see if you're connected to anyone. They may reach out through someone else. If they find out you're crushing on them, it could go the other way. Yeah, so it's about reciprocity. You know, they're looking here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, Lucy, see, they're a little worried you won't feel the same. But I gotta tell you, it popped into my head. You may be crushing on this person. If they find out you're crushing on them, they'll reach out. But I feel their worst case scenario, this person feels you might not feel the same. You might not be on the same page. Okay, but they don't want to miss this opportunity. I can see it. It's about should they go for it, right? Uh, should they, uh, you know, come in and fight for this situation? <laughs> yeah, they want to date you. Uh, they're exploring their feelings and emotions. Yeah, they're fantasizing here. They're preparing themselves for any possible outcome. Uh, so they definitely aren't afraid <laughs> of taking action. Yeah. So there, this is how they conduct themselves. So they want to date in a traditional manner. So this is generally, I feel, a person who, I feel what, what isn't traditional is that they may actually get somebody else to reach out, someone they know that you know, okay? Um, could be a little invitation of some sort, but they're definitely someone exploring their feelings here, uh, wanting to date. Uh, and I feel they're going to do things in a traditional manner. They want to make sure you're on the same page. They're a little sure you may not be as interested as them. Um, something that they don't know. But you, you, like I say, you may not know they're crushing. Or they know that you are. See, it could go that way too. See, they want to make sure you're single. And I think that's the only thing they're worried about is that you're single, that you're not married. I feel that when they find out that you're single, uh, they're heading your way. I see a little Virgo energy here too. So this person sees how you conduct yourself. You look successful. You look like you take care of yourself. Very earthy energy. Okay. A lot of Taurus energy here, very traditional, traditional good looks, you know, they like what they see. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're coming in here, I'll tell you, they're decisive. This person exploring their feelings are becoming more decisive about taking action. See, they're definitely trying not to be ruled by their emotions, um, but they want success. They're very determined. So once this person finds out you're single, they'll become even more determined. Ooh, this could go somewhere. This so is someone who will pick you up, take you on a date. They're definitely that way. So they will come and pick you up and take you out, bring you back home. Yeah. Tell me about the chariot. Little cancer energy there. That's you. They see you that way too. See? Mature. I don't know. I feel like you. They may find out you're crushing on them. <laughs> Yeah, it's very sweet, something very sweet, very innocent kind of energy, okay? Yeah, I, you know, I like I say, whatever it is, it's innocent. I wouldn't worry if they do reach out or get someone else to reach out to you on their behalf, okay? So there is the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a place where people congregate, where they socialize. It's a safe place. It's a place where people spend money. I mean, you may go to this place, person's place of business, okay? Um, see this energy of movement here it's energy of this person looking to see if you're partnered up once they know you're not they're coming in i feel they're going to reach out to you out in public somewhere this person will take you out on a date they're definitely not worried there i feel they're generous okay they are going to do something to impress you i feel here as well um may start off simple it may not give you a lot but once they know Okay, that you feel the same, this person will spoil you. I can see already, you see, that this person's going to be quite generous. I feel like you're, um, like if you just have a few conversation with this person, because I feel it has to do with this person not wanting to miss, miss this magical opportunity, um, but they lack a little faith that you will feel the same. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, a little being a little shy, they're a little, see, I say they, they lack a little confidence here. They kind of think that you might, you know, reject them. You may not be their type, but I, I feel here they're going to go for it. I feel they're going to reach out. They're going to keep it kind of simple at first, but once this person uh, feels that, you know, like I say, if they um, feel that you're receptive, uh, there'll be, this person will spare no expense. I can tell you, they will spoil you, Okay. You're likely going to like that, but they're taking action. It's about fighting for what they want here. Um, this person definitely, they may take you dancing, okay? I don't think they're very confident about that. I got to be honest. I don't think they're super confident about dancing. 
I don't know why, I just it popped into my head. I see this, I'm visualizing this public uh, dating. This could be, a you know, like an expensive restaurant or, uh, you know, I feel like they're going to be picking you up, though, as I do feel like you are going to reciprocate, even though they're preparing for you to not, you see. Uh, it's also an energy where this person may reach out and say, hey, hey, would you like to go? They may let you choose. But they see you as somebody who takes care of themselves. But the biggest thing is, is, are you single for sure? Okay. Yeah. They're a little worried about being rejected. I can see it. A little shy, a little apprehensive. But this person isn't someone who stays shy for long. Because they're not really worried about the competition so much. I can see that. Uh, they're more worried that you're actually single. If you have people around you when you're out and about um, and somebody lays eyes on you and you got people around you, uh, this is a pretty common energy. You always kind of pull back and look, oh, are they with one of those people, right? Is that their partner? They're definitely someone who pulls their weight, okay? They're absolutely definitely someone who pulls their weight. I do feel this person has a little baggage from a past relationship, but I feel they're letting it go because they're ready for something new. I can see that energy. Yeah. I think this person's responsible, reliable. I think you can rely on this person. If they make a date, they'll keep it. Okay. Um, yeah, look at that energy. See, look at multi. You may even have multiple opportunities, but I see this person reaching out, talking. I actually feel there's going to be a conversation with other people involved. There, this person's going to talk to someone else that you know. They're going to reach out because they want to know. Okay, so there's the apprehension, the shyness. But I, I feel, <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, it'll take them a little bit here. <laughs> Don't try to control it. Okay, just sort of let this happen here. Stay in control of your emotions. Don't try to control this or make things move any faster. They're not, this isn't a slow, slow person. Uh, definitely not. But uh, I feel the the. That little bit of worry that you won't feel the same. You see, there it is, the birth of sea. They're a little apprehensive, shy. They're seeing an empress, that goddess energy. You see, the birth of something new. They want to start it. Yeah. Cancer. I feel like you're going to meet this person someplace, in, at maybe an event or just, it could be anywhere. The Ten of Pentacles is you know, usually, you know, it could be a restaurant, could be, could even be in a bank. I mean... Uh, a shopping mall could be even in a park you know at a kiosk any place where people spend money that's a safe place okay where people congregate it's stable okay uh, something that's likely been around for a while it just popped into my head so it's not a a new place okay Tell me more about the Empress. This birth is something new, see? Choosing their battles carefully, whether they're becoming more discerning, but like I say, a little concerned. Oh, yeah. See, it'll take this person a bit to open up. You see that? They, and then they become a little bit shy. Uh, and then they open up here. Yeah, They're mature. It's just, you know, will you feel the same? They're definitely someone longing for love. It's definitely somebody who... Uh, has a lot of sentimental energy. If some of you have a choice between two, you may have someone here you're not interested in and you may have another person coming in. So, because you're in that Empress energy. So I feel like you got people who are kind of drawn to you. If you've been going out socializing, if you haven't been, it's telling you to get out and socialize. Okay, doesn't matter where, but where people congregate. Okay, um, because I feel like these are opportunities to get missed sometimes. If you get an invitation and go, no, nah, thanks, I don't really feel like it tonight. I think I'm just going to stay home alone. You miss, sometimes you miss those opportunities. Uh, sometimes they present themselves again. But I see something coming in out of the blue, multiple opportunities. Okay. So you, like I say, you may have someone who comes on a little too strong, too fast. You may not be interested. Okay. And it, that may have already something that's happened. Okay. But yeah, I, I definitely feel that you, if you have two opportunities or someone you're going to move away from, uh, you may trust your intuition. Uh, you, I feel like there's a couple of crushes definitely for some, but others of you, it's just this person's energy. They definitely like to talk a lot, okay, about things they do, creative pursuits. They definitely have a sense of pride, uh, that King of Wands energy. Yeah, definitely some of you got a few people there's an energy of three you might not be interested in one person been there done that there may be something about them okay 
maybe the way they conduct themselves, some habits that you don't like. Um, you know, they could have some kind of habits. Maybe they're a little cheap. I don't know. But I feel someone here is generous. Okay. So this is where I feel like it is somebody here. This is someone who will spoil you. Like I say, there's a, that's why I feel like it's all one person. Um, but if it's two, I can definitely break it down to why you would move away from this energy. Okay. But yeah. I think you got a person who's taken that. If there is competition here, maybe this is the competition and this person's just going to kind of swoop in here and kind of go for it. They're definitely mature. They're not ruled by their emotions. They're quite balanced. You could be in an energy here, Cancer, where you're pulled in two different directions and you have to make a decision. So if you have someone here who makes up excuses, maybe they, you know, if you've got two people, definitely someone could be making up excuses at why they won't uh, take you out, maybe trying to keep you secret, maybe been there, done that, and you pick up on something. Uh, you definitely have this other opportunity. So it looks like some of you may have options, okay? Maybe just keeping them open. But there is a person who definitely wants to make sure you're single before they take action. <laughs> Somebody who doesn't want a whole lot of drama. Okay. I definitely see you balanced. Beautiful energy with the Empress. This is, this is yourself. This person sees you that way. So, yeah. I, I feel maybe it's an energy where some of you have a couple of back-to-back -back dates if you're online dating. And then you have to make a choice. Always remember some people are shy. You know, they control their emotions. They don't want to be ruled by them. Because I actually see someone here choosing their battles, choosing the words, being a little cautious, being a little careful, um, you know, how emotional they are. Because it's definitely someone longing for love. <laughs> Tell me more about this King of Cups. Yeah, see, they're not afraid to take action. You know, look at that. See, they're not. I, I feel most of you, this is just one person's energy, the emotions they're going through. A secret crush coming in to take action, not afraid if there's competition, but they're definitely somebody who doesn't like drama. Okay. Um, but I got to tell you, they are a little dramatic. I do feel they're shy about dancing. Okay. That's still here. In fact, if you have two dates back to back and you're going dancing, there's a little shyness about that. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely an action-oriented, fun person. I feel they have a pretty good personality. Uh, I feel this person likes to have fun. They like the challenge. I feel they, um, they're not afraid of somebody challenges them a little bit either. Because they're mature. Wow. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Some of you got a few people here. You got multiple opportunities, definitely some of you. But it's also an energy of someone who's stable. I see a Virgo, someone who's financially stable, grounded, sensible. It's a person who's look looks into the future, like to be prepared financially. It has to do with action. So it does look like there's some kind of competition um, definitely here for some of you. Mm-hmm. Somebody here coming in. This is definitely someone financially stable. It still could be one person, a business owner. If you go to their place of business or maybe they come to yours, you see? Oh, yeah. yeah someone's taking a leap of faith, taking a little bit of a risk here. Oh, someone with a little Aries in their chart. So we have some Aries. Oh, pretty strong Taurus, Virgo. Of course, your energy cancer. Some Pisces. Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this person's pushing through any fear, taking a leap of faith to take action. Someone's, I feel like it's all one person for a lot of you. Others of you, you have multiple opportunities. There's definitely one person here that you're no thanks, okay? Um, as far as this other person coming in, you may go for that. It could be yourself taking a leap of faith here, taking a bit of a risk. <laughs> Tell me about the fool energy. It's definitely just someone who's, oh yeah. So it's tempering that that energy. So a little Sag energy too. So there's some fire here, some passion, uh, drive, ambition. Uh, but it's a person who's tempering their passion. Someone's tempering their passions, tempering their emotions, kind of pulling back. Now you may feel like there's something off with someone here, the shy apprehension. If you have someone who makes excuses, Okay, you're going to pick up on that. Maybe you have a person who just wants to be single. 
Okay. But I feel it's a person who's pulling back, checking you out. Yeah. This is, you got someone different than your usual type coming in, you see. If, there's a, if you have a lot of people around you, if you've been going out and socializing and you've met a bunch of people and they start reaching out, uh, I can definitely see you having to make choices. Well, you're more than likely going to be going for this King of Cups because there's the Empress right there. So this third person could be someone who makes up a lot of excuses. You may feel like something's kind of off. Okay, maybe they're not single and it could be yourself too looking to make sure someone's not married or in any kind of relationship. So like I say, there could be other people involved here. So let's have a look at the high priestess. This is likely what's going to clear it up. Yeah, this is crushing. See, confirmation. Some of you got a couple people um, interested. But it's energy of longing for love, just keeping things a little simple at first. Someone's going to show you they like you. See, I feel like the person's going to show you they like you by doing something sweet. Okay. Because I do think they're worried of rejection. That That's why I feel most of you. It's just one person going through all these motions. Um, I'm just going to pull out another card here on this temperance. It's an energy of patience. It's an energy of healing. Um, if you miss an opportunity with somebody, you will possibly get another opportunity. Okay. With that person, if you feel like you've missed an opportunity because you felt something wasn't right, or maybe you took another opportunity uh, and that didn't work out, you'll have another chance with someone here. Uh, temperance, why is this here? There we go. Yeah, see, nine of swords, a little bit of regret, a little bit of unfounded fear. It's about somebody here has a little unfounded fear that you're going to reject them. And if it's yourself and you feel... Um, a little afraid to take a risk with someone, okay? I don't feel like it's yourself with the Empress energy, but um, if you feel that way, um, the energy is just to uh, not make a move, to be patient, okay? To pull back and look at things from a different point of view, a different perspective. If something feels off, it's off, okay? So that's where I feel. Some of you maybe have had risks in the past, but I feel like it's all this person. I really do. I feel like it's them. Unfounded fear to take a risk and where they this somebody decides to finally take the risk. You see? Yeah. If you have a person who's been making excuses too, though, like I say, you know, they reach out and then they kind of make excuses for uh, maybe you're going to get stood up, but I don't really see it. Okay. Or maybe it's yourself because you're afraid to take that risk with someone. Uh, it's unfounded fear, okay? It's often regret. So that's why I feel like if you fail to um, take an opportunity with someone or they fail to act, to take action, they will try again, okay? So it's actually pretty positive, but you still have this King of Cups taking action, competition or not, going for it. You see, that's the action they're going to take is this um, mature, open, emotionally available. Yeah, crazy energy, Cancer, but some of you got a lot a busy time ahead. Yeah, if you feel something isn't right, it's not. You will have other opportunities. So your next serious relationship will be someone with the King of Cups, emotionally mature, more than likely a little Pisces in their chart. Maybe Scorpio, because the King of Wands is here. Yeah, maybe some Taurus and Virgo energy as well. So a little bit of earth energy. So it's definitely someone who takes care of themselves. They look good. They present well. Uh, they dress nice. Okay. You may be on the same page. You may like that. Yeah. So there's definitely an energy of change. So some of you are definitely moving away. Um, like I say, though, I feel like you got someone here who failed to recognize, failed to act, failed to take action. And they're going to come in and do that. So if you have a place where you go, that's a habit where you socialize, it doesn't matter where it is, that's where you're going to connect with this person. I feel they're either crushing and keeping it to themselves. They may get someone else again to reach out to you on their behalf to find something out because they're shy. Okay, somebody's definitely a little shy and apprehensive, but there's the manifesting. See, if someone has all the tools, the information, everything that they need to know to take action. <laughs> it's the need to know, right? Someone who need, wants to know if there's competition. I feel as someone who doesn't really want a lot of drama, but I have to be honest, they are a little dramatic. <laughs> 
Okay. Take care, Cancer. Wish you the best. I would have to say timing on this one. Um, I usually just go on the common denominator. Um, but I actually feel three weeks, three months. Okay. But it all depends on how much you get out and socialize. Okay. Uh, places where it's stable, where you're safe, where you're comfortable, that may be a habit. If you have a, if you have a routine, stick to your routine. Okay. Because <laughs> that's where you're going to connect with this person. They will be the one to take the action. Okay. They will be the one to make that move. So I wouldn't worry about you having to make a move. All right. And if you can remember somebody who you maybe took, an, you had a, maybe a few dates, opportunities come in, you may have rejected one and took another, you're going to get an opportunity with that other person. Okay. So, all right. Take care. Bye for now.